Loss of life was certainly staggering, especially for the thousands of children who lost parents that day. And tonight, Channel 3's Denise Desenzo has more on an organization that to this day is helping these children make their way through life. September 11, 2001, a Tuesday America will never forget. 5,000 children were left without a parent on that dark day, but they have not walked alone. They are Tuesday's children. There were 4,000 organizations started after September 11th. We're one of very few left standing. Sarah Wingerath Schlanger is a senior director of Tuesday's Children, a group formed 18 years ago to address the special needs of the children of 9-11. We're about post-traumatic growth. We're about making sure that we can have a positive journey and walk shoulder to shoulder with you. Amanda Gregory Carpenter of Derby lost her father on September 11th. She was a sophomore in college and was struggling to make sense of what happened and how to move forward. One of my dearest, closest friends to this day is someone I met from Tuesday's Children that very first night that I went to a Tuesday's Children event. For me, it was making those connections, understanding that I wasn't alone in what I was feeling, what I had dealt with. We plan programming for every age and stage. We're about making sure that the resources are in place long term. And sometimes Tuesday's children steps in to help when grief begins to take a physical toll. We had somebody right after 9-11 call and say, my child's not growing. They're physically not growing. They're not reaching any sort of developmental milestones. And that child needed intense traumatic support so that their body could refocus itself and begin to grow again. Much has been learned from 9-11 about coping with traumatic loss, and Tuesday's Children has shared those lessons with Sandy Hook and other communities reeling from horrific events. You know, here's our guidebook. Let us help you walk through this. We've taken a long-term healing model and made sure that we can put it in other communities, whether that be Newtown, Las Vegas, Parkland. And Tuesday's Children says there's a way we can all help in that healing. A little kindness is all it takes. What can we all do as neighbors, friends, to make it a little bit easier? I think remembering that words matter. <laughs> um, <laughs> nobody wants to hear time to move on. Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear, how are you? They want to hear, how are you today? Uh, to make sure that it is available like for the rest of the world. The, the Big Girls from Tuesday's Children Project, Project Common Bond, which is Tuesday's Children's sort of summit uh, for young adults who've been impacted by terrorism, religious violence, extremism. They Just being able to get the different perspectives from people. Um, to be with them into their adulthood. 110 women were pregnant on 11, so we still have work to do. I'm Denise Desenzo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. What a beautiful organization, that's for sure. For more information on Tuesday's children and how you can help, we have a link posted on the website, wfsb.com and the Channel 3 app.